Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a dear little girl whom everyone loved, and most of all, her grandmother loved her. Her grandmother made a red velvet cloak for her. She looked so bright and gay in the cloak that everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said to her, "Come, Little Red Riding Hood. Here is a piece of cake and a pot of butter. Take them to your grandmother. She's not feeling so well, and she will like it." Ooh, it will be nice to see Granny," said Little Red Riding Hood excitedly, and she set out. Grandmother lived out in the wood, half a mile from the village, and just as Little Red Riding Hood entered the wood, she saw a wolf. "Good day, Little Red Riding Hood," said he. "Good day, Wolf." Where are you going, Little Red Riding Hood? To my grandmother's. What have you got with you? Cake and a pot of butter. Where does your grandmother live, Little Red Riding Hood? A quarter mile further out in the wood. Her house stands under three large oak trees. You surely must know it," replied Little Red Riding Hood. All right, I will visit her too. I will go this way, and you go that way, and we'll meet there," said the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood started walking, and then she saw the sunbeams dancing here and there through the trees, and pretty flowers growing everywhere. She thought, "Maybe I can take some fresh flowers for Granny. That will please her." She stopped and picked some flowers and made a colorful bouquet for her grandmother. Meanwhile, the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house and knocked on the door. "Who's there?" Oh, "Little Red Riding Hood. I have cake and a pot of butter for you. Open the door," replied the wolf, trying to make his voice like Little Red Riding Hood. I、lift the latch and come in," called out the grandmother. The wolf lifted the latch. The door sprang open, and without saying a word, he went straight to the grandmother's bed. When Granny saw him, she quickly ran to the other room and locked herself in. The wolf found some of her clothes and put them on. He dressed himself in her cap and laid himself in bed. When Little Red Riding Hood finished picking flowers, she came knocking to her grandmother's house. Tap tap. Who's there? Pull the latch and come in," said the wolf, changing his voice to match her grandmother's. When Little Red Riding Hood came in, she saw her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face and looking very strange. "Oh, grandmother, what big ears you have!" she said. "All the better to hear you with, my child," said the wolf. "But grandmother, what big eyes you have!" she said. "All the better to see you with, my dear." But grandmother, what large hands you have! All the better to hug you. Oh, but grandmother, what big teeth you have! All the better to eat you. And scarcely had the wolf said this, he jumped from the bed towards Little Red Riding Hood, who screamed loudly. A woodcutter who was passing by heard Little Red Riding Hood scream, and came in and saved her from the wolf. The grandmother was glad for this, and she came out. She ate the cake and butter which Little Red Riding Hood had brought, and felt much better.
once again a few days later when red riding hood was taking the cake to her grandmother another wolf tried to make friends with her red riding hood however was on her guard and went straight forward on her way to her grandmother's house and told her about him well said the grandmother we will shut the door so that he cannot come in soon afterwards the wolf knocked and cried open the door grandmother i am little red riding hood and i'm bringing you some cake but they did not say anything or open the door so the wolf went twice or thrice around the house and then went away and thus little red riding hood learned her lesson to be wary of wolves and made many safe trips to her grandmother's house the end